Good evening, everyone. Let me welcome every one of you at uh, this workshop. And let me just say that, and, 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 and now to English speaker. I'm very pleased to have you all here. Just a bit of explanation or introduction to this workshop before I introduce the guests. Concerning the context of this workshop, of this meeting, there are two contexts. One of them relates directly to the festival, the situation of the festival, um, confrontations of theater that uh, we have focused on thinking about um, a theater as a um, public institution of art. And the second context is the third double issue of the Polish Theater Journal, a new magazine which deals with Polish theater and its contexts is issues issued by uh, the Zbigniew Praszewski uh, Theater Institute and uh, the Academy of Dramatic Art in Warsaw. So we've got the editorial team representatives uh, and we have Dorota Buchwald, uh, director of the Theater Institute. Agata Adamiecka, head of the scientific and publishing department at this institute. And Tomasz Plata, Dean of Theatre Knowledge, uh, Academy of Dramatic Arts in Warsaw, and curator of Commune Warsaw. And his fans, as I can see, Just let me begin with the context uh, that we've been trying, together with Agata Adamiecka, to describe in, an, in, in a paper and in introduction to the Polish Theatre Journal newest edition. Agata just uh, invited me to work with her on this um, uh, issue because I'm dealing with the institutional critique and our task was to look into institutions uh, and their op operations for the organization of theater. And this context uh, um, during the work was very dynamic, was changing dynamically. We started work uh, in a situation a bit different than uh, a year later when the issue was actually published on the website. And just one note, the magazine is uh, web-based totally. And what you can uh, see behind us is the main page, the home page, it's uh, www.polishjournal.com. You can find uh, all the papers, all the articles in English version. As you can see, there are abstracts and uh, PDF with Polish versions as well available on that website. So in fact, back to the context, uh, I'm thinking about social and economic and political context in which Polish theatres operate and Polish uh, theatre-related organizations, institutions and um, para-institutions dealing with um, uh, para-performative uh, arts. And the context was also um, related to politics in Poland, but it was also changing because it somehow exploited or exhausted or came to diverge of the institution in the late capitalism, neoliberal uh, system, where the institution of theater, especially public theater, from my perspective at least, is trapped somehow. On the one side, uh, its task is to pursue a, a mission of public theater, which is uh, impossible to pursue anywhere else, outside the institution. And it's a privilege, but it's a uh, responsibility, a huge responsibility, uh, as uh, it's 
finance from public funds, um, specific tasks uh, vesting in it, and it operates in specific economic context. Even if that's a municipal um, uh, property, it is subject to some capitalist requirements, which means that it needs to produce more and more, it needs to be more and more attractive, it is held accountable for the sales of tickets um, and uh, not necessarily of how the mission is, uh, is met or um, the audience of frequency. Um, um, and this means a trap um, for the institutions, a kind of clash between uh, developing or opening up the space for its activity, for artistic freedom, freedom, and uh, meeting the economic requirements for operation. And my impression is, well, kind of like a business, like a company. So, let me start with a question to all our guests: How, in our political, economic, and social context? What institutions do we need and what, from your point of view, does it mean to be public theatre, public theatre, public institution? Well, it's a capacious question, really, uh, for an introduction. I don't know uh, where to start from. I would say that, for me, the thinking about theatre and culture in Poland at this moment, the determining, the dominant perspective is, of course, politics, the political perspective. And I would start from it in the first place. So we are, um, we have guests from abroad, and I think the context is quite legible to you for two years we've been dealing with the situation when this is a new era for us um, a new era of um, cultural politics and policies um, there's a um, reversal from the concept of the public culture that we've developed um, with some successes and pitfalls we have developed for 20 so years that is the culture that is understood as a tool to integrate society, to educate people, to include society. The inclusion and in social integration were limited, of course, uh, mainly because of the basic assumptions, hidden assumptions of uh, the neoliberalism. As the inclusion the civic society, you need to have special competence, some specific competence as to be part of the audience for a public culture. You, need, you needed to have some potential, some knowledge, um, growth opportunities and so on. But still, my impression is that there was a, some space, um, a bit limited, but uh, a space for intensive dialogue. Uh, there was no situation, in short, um, of a... Uh, uh, kind of open um, ideological determination and this is what we are dealing with just now this is from the ruling party uh, I mean they are quite explicit about their assumptions that public funds may only serve to support those forms of culture and artistic activity that um, um, are in line with um, um, national or nationalistic um, uh, values and their um, and the relationship with Catholic religion, uh, especially defined as uh, um, national heritage, um, determined by historical policies. So my impression is that it's very difficult for us today. This is a moment where we have to name things as they are. Um, uh, what uh, a cultural institution should be because we are losing the context, we are losing the notions um, of uh, what we have uh, agreed about in the past. So I think that uh, what's most important just now, it's a strong movement uh, in the domain of culture. I would say this kind of transmission or moving 
uh, the accent from artistic culture to social culture to the actual uh, self-organization uh, local communities and working with local communities, anim animation and education activities. So to me, well, I'd, I would go for uh, going back to the postulates uh, that we published uh, together with Dragon Clyde. Uh, but um, I would like to be more radical. I've got the impression that the concept of great, big, large um, institutions uh, well, did not prove to be successful, and it was so because at this moment, politically and socially, we are where we are, and uh, this needs to be devised anew. And Dorota will counter me, so let me just preempt that. Of course, public theatres are common good and should be defended, but at the same time, we need to work towards a new form of understanding of public theatre and in my opinion and it's fundamental that we move away uh, from this concept of artistic um, work uh, produced in, in theatres uh, so that theatres are to produce um, the stagings um, and generate symbolic meanings there are theatres and theatres, and there are other <coughs> cultural institutions where we need to um, develop new forms of being together to articulate community, uh, togetherness, uh, something that um, does not homogenize us or unifies us, uh, that does not require a kind of declarative um, identity, but just giving us a form of involvement, of engagement, and uh, I would say this is the definition um, to devise new missions for public um, cultural institutions, including theatres. <coughs> Where's this uh, counter-argument, Dorota? Well, I, th there's nothing I can uh, uh, add, add to this. Uh, I agree with you, Jana. Um, uh, Perhaps I would put a question mark uh, just uh, over the last fragment because I think that this uh, idea uh, that theatre can become, um, um, you know, a place to search for the kind of radically under understood community, not radical, perhaps, you know, kind of possible or potential. You well, know, it's a general question, and um, perhaps we could ask um, uh, this referring to. Um, uh, the, the, the slogan on, on, of today's action, that is, um, uh, theatre is not a product um, and, and, and um, you know, the viewer is not a consumer or customer. So it's a question mark I would put on over the last sentence, Jana. Just I'm thinking uh, to what extent this perspective uh, should be transcended or whether the initiators um, um, would be in a position, would be able to present a kind of binding vision for, uh, for us reaching uh, this perspective. Because the main initiators, the main originators um, uh, are still involved in producing mainly, producing stagings, producing cultural products, so to say. So uh, generally I would, I would agree. Uh, it is a vision um, uh, that is quite close to me, just one reservation perhaps it's worthwhile thinking about this kind of utopian character of the last element that you... That I would argue, but let me have uh, Dorota speak first. Uh, no, I mean, we shouldn't be quarreling uh, here. Uh, we should just be a bit less radical in saying that cultural, theatrical um, um, institutions uh, perhaps don't go too broadly into culture itself. Uh, let's just stick to theatre institutions. Uh, the main point is that they are different, they are varied, that they can exist um, um, together or next to each other, so that institutions with a um, you know, certain profile of, um, 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 of activity exist together with um, other profile Mm, um, like experimental ones, so, and if they don't exist, just let's create them. Uh, let's show everyone that it's possible to create a new institution. 
and uh, the law allows that today, um, allows us to construe um, institutions uh, in line with the needs of artists and, um, and groups that want to get involved, uh, so everything's possible. What I'm opposing is this kind of thinking through the prism uh, well, and I've got an experience of 30 years documenting um, uh, um, cultural life in Poland, and I have an in-depth knowledge of how um, theatrical institutions operate in Poland and, um, and, and this complex um, con um, context, um, context uh, and, and, and this clash between uh, the, the company the, 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 the of business and, and, and theatre and, and cultural institutions. The point is that uh, if you read all those books that we have published that uh, we have uh, kind of embedded in our think uh, thinking and just look at the perspectives and what has happened in uh, Western Europe and then and, and, and North America we uh, really should draw conclusions um, um, uh, about the consequences of radical decisions towards institutions. Institution is a fact and it exists and it's a, 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 a very important fact uh, and um, the, the law uh, actually um, allows um, um, you know, artistic institutions um, to um, uh, appear to institutionalize um, the theater. So it's a privilege um, of public funding. That's one point that you have mentioned before. There is some subsidy um, uh, coming from state budget, uh, but there is also responsibility coming with it. Uh, but there's also another feature. Uh, there is autonomy provided for in the law for it. Autonomy, it means independence, freedom for this institution to create phenomena and movements that, uh, that are created by artists and are in line with the needs. Um, theatre is cultural institutions and cultural institutions invite um, the artists to work with them and genera generate events but don't have uh, you know, kind of fixed teams. Uh, you know, full-time employed. Uh, so uh, this is a privilege of autonomy for uh, for the institution and the stake together. And that's why I uh, wrote about that. It's, it's a defense of institution uh, based on the recognition of the, 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 the of, of of the fact after. 250 years of public theatre in Poland and 25 years of the new um, post-socialist system um, the, the, and public theatre operating in it, that uh, in view of the changes, faced with the changes that uh, are simply happening, uh, and, and, and law of course uh, is changing as well and uh, in various forms today um, and not perhaps uh, quite in line with culture needs in Poland. But still, the law is here, is in place, and it allows us to fight for the freedom, for autonomy of cultural institutions, giving us guarantee to pursue certain um, program um, and the way of uh, how it's organized. Because uh, institutions don't have to be organized, uh, you know, uniformly across all times um, and in all situations. Internal organization. Uh, can vary between institutions and this gives a guarantee of artistic freedom because what's uh, outside the institution can happen, may happen, should happen as there are uh, different opportunities uh, also funding um, opportunities in different systems than, than, than the public one but the very fact of existence of these institutions well, should be defended. They should be defended um, uh, because if we uh, see what has happened in America, where you know um, uh, public funding was re withdrawn from cultural institutions, uh, then brought about the kind of kind of uh, you know closure of theatre um, in um, in um, uh, America, the dusk of theatre, as we put it in in, in, in our paper. So from our perspective, uh, there's nothing interesting in the, in, 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 in the US. And what was brought to Europe together with the um, economic crisis and this pressure and, and self-limitation 
put um, um, on cultural institutions, forcing them to uh, combine, to reduce, to co-produce. Um, and um, um, some institutions uh, have never regained uh, the independence since. Then we need to think quite carefully uh, before we start weakening the institutions from inside. We shouldn't be quarreling again of whether the institution is capable or incapable of something. We should fight for the autonomy of the institution. So the pressure, any pressure, whether political, social or economic, does not lead uh, in a loss of these cultural institutions. Uh, the law is quite open, I would say, quite flexible um, to preserve um, this diversity. Uh, when we have a look at this 120 um, um, public theatre, they are very different, uh, both in size and in, in profile, and um, uh, we don't have um, you know, large cultural or large theatre institutions. Uh, in the European perspective, it's just small and medium-sized institutions. Um, well, we have only small houses. Just look at Lublin, uh, 400 uh, seats. It's, it's, it's not huge, really. It's, not, uh, it, it, it's a house that needs to be nurtured and, and cared for uh, so that it can operate um, as, um, the, the, as designed, as programmed. So it's a time for defense. So don't, don't let's lose. Uh, let's give new ideas to nurture, to, to, to support, to contribute. And let me, have, let me be personal just now. Uh, when in, um, in the 80s, I, I was sitting in Hat Kajaka in, in, in the students' club in Lublin and just watching um, uh, films about how to build community and how to contribute to the development of theatre. Then I can say that, uh, well, there's experimental um, um, movements. Uh, they are avant-garde, uh, in, in a sense, always, and uh, they, they are not going to become mainstream. But the mainstream uh, sources its energy from, um, from um, um, this off or alternative uh, movements, and institutions can help um, with that. And my um, point is we should defend them. Thank you very much for uh, these answers. And let me just uh, refer to what Dorota Buchol uh, has said. And uh, mind you, we've got Alan Kucharski, Professor Alan Kucharski from Smoth Gold College, who can tell us uh, in detail about the American um, funding uh, system for, uh, for theatre and how it impacts um, uh, theatres in the US. And um, from my perspective, it's kind of painful story a story that uh, should be included in Frederick Martyr's um, the, the book, the story of uh, the Nature Theatre of Oklahoma Company, uh, which um, uh, uh, well, lost its uh, team uh, um, uh, um, when it was quite successful, you know, visited all the major uh, theatre festivals across Europe only because stagings were um, funded from um, public institutions in Europe. <coughs> um, where, um, uh, the Vienna Berg Theatre was in, in financial crisis and could not fund the theatre and the, the, the company anymore. Well, the team just the, 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 the bro broke up. So and the actors, players were the, the first victims of the, of the situation. Uh, so from this perspective, uh, it's all the more so that uh, defense of public institutions and, well, theater institutions and, and, and artistic institutions is, uh, is essential, is key, of course. Uh, what I have doubts about is uh, what institutions should we mm, defend? Um, uh, in what form um, uh, are these institutions? In what character do they have? And I'm thinking about the Polish situation just now where uh, through the changes and, 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 the, and the dangers of um, direct interference from, from the politics, um, both at municipal and the city, um, at the national level, 
um, you know, the dominant thinking is that uh, you know, decision maker for public funding uh, has the right to act as the owner and um, prohibit um, um, certain directions or change the directions theater operates, um, which is quite contrary, in my opinion, to the, 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 this character of cultural institution. Well, but it, 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 it's a mistake in our thinking. There are three theaters that report to the state out of 120. But if you just have a look at uh, the city uh, interference, um, they are quite, quite rare. It's a rare phenomenon than, than cities or organizers, and it's uh, also well, they simply don't have the right to interfere with the autonomy of cultural institutions. Well, it's true, but uh, I'm not saying uh, that public theatres are funded from the Ministry of Culture and uh, these are um, ministerial um, decisions or interference. Um, um, of course, uh, we should be precise about distinguishing between municipal, city, the organizations and so on. And to give an example, um, um, pra premieres um, uh, last year, uh, where the marshal um, of the province demanded or tried to influence the program of the, of the festival, or uh, uh, was disagreeing with the, um, with the uh, with the program and uh, Oliver Frelich um, 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 uh, staging the well, if I can, Cesare Mozarski uh, wasn't selected, wasn't elected by by the ministry, uh, but uh, there was a direct. Um, but it, it is worthwhile to be, um, um, you know, um, to criticize the you know the whole situation. And there are a lot of such decisions, not only from the ministry, but from local organizers, from uh, local governments. But it, it's, uh, it's a kind of um, a reference to the kind of we should um, keep um, the back of our hands. To all those who are not quite familiar with um, the Polish uh, context and the Polish situation uh, today, what we observe now is a moment when if a public institution uh, theater institutions and, and large festivals change uh, the profile from international to Polish ones, just like pre premieres in, in, in Bydgoszcz after the director was changed, or um, the changes of directors, um, uh, which um, um, you know leads to the loss of critical experimental um, uh, players, actors, we don't have any uh, prospect to offer them. We don't have kind of independent movement um, and circle for performative arts to make them, to involve them, to include them, to let them work uh, further. And I'm thinking why? And I'm thinking that perhaps we have uh, been short of this critical perspective on the public institutions, on the model, um, of its operations um, and, uh, and uh, the model they promote, they establish, and what it means for the whole um, society, the whole circle of theater people in Poland. And how come the democratic theatrical institutions um, uh, kind of duplicate the hierarchy of institutional theatre, where the split of tasks and responsibilities is quite clear or very vertical, um, you know, rigidly structure, structured, and I think that perhaps you know this critical or constructive analysis uh, of this um, theatre space um, that would allow us to look into the models of production, of model of work. Um, to think uh, about what we uh, have and whether it's the only possib possibility uh, that this uh, is something we missed, that we were short of, and it's a critical, it's a very dangerous moment just now where the autonomy of institutions is endangered. And uh, I don't know if uh, we are at risk 
uh, at duplicating you know schemata and patterns again in the future if we withdraw from this critical thinking <laughs> just let me say that I think that uh, the, the program uh, the, the vision is just a minimum program but it's a radically conservative one because you say well let's maintain let's preserve the status quo let's preserve the extent the scope uh, it's radically conservative uh, extremely conservative because you you, you want to no I'm saying uh, don't lose what we have don't don't us, let us lose well in face of the crisis that we are dealing with um, well you are talking about institutions about like you know an, a historic um, entity kind of end of history um, uh, in the forms of culture it's not the fact uh, as a matter of fact it's an emanation of certain needs that you know the late bourgeoisie, bourgeoisie society established in um, the late 19th century and um, well uh, repertoire theatre operates according to the models devised back then so it's a it's an extremely political tool and it serves a certain social model it conserves it preserves the, the, the model and now the situation is that we need to be clear it's insufficient it's insufficient uh, for democracy to survive if we are interested in searching but it's in, uh, it's key to survival of culture but just let me finish please Dorota So it's insufficient, um, absolutely insufficient in my opinion, and there are at least two or three um, the vectors to complicate this kind of thinking. You say that there are the diverse institutions. Uh, the question is about audience, and we've got a clear answer to uh, who's not the audience. People who don't come, don't go to theatres, they are kind of four class or low class. Um, and it's a fact, it's knowledge um, from our last survey of, um, of the audiences. Uh, it's published on the um, website of Theatre Institute. Uh, the project, the research was led by Professor Fatiga. And uh, they are quite clear, we don't communicate to these audiences in any way. And culture created in public institutions of culture, especially in theatres, uh, are class-based. Uh, it is a is a tool to distinguish distinguish between classes, social classes. And the problem is that in Poland, half of the society um, does do, do not participate in elections in democracy itself. And what we know that the current you know, ruling party came to power um, by the votes of conservative middle class but if you have a look at the dynamics in the politics we uh, know that uh, you know some powers in society have been triggered the powers that the strengths of those who were excluded before who did not take part in culture and uh, this is mainly the folks, the, 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 low, the low class. So uh, if we stick to this model, the public funding of uh, cultural institutions that communicate with only part of society, then uh, we, we are going to work uh, towards uh, more power and, um, and, and um, you know, towards the model that is strengthening today, thinking about nationalist um, the, the state and institutions. And if you say about auto autonomy, we are fighting for uh, autonomy of institutions. What does it mean? I mean, who's got the power in, in cultural institutions? What are uh, the mechanisms, verified mechanisms for democratization of cultural institutions? Where's this empowerment of the, of the companies, of the teams in, in, in theater? Uh, the law is quite clear the power and responsibility vests in director of the institution and the mechanism 
uh, is not quite um, uh, clear, the, the competition um, uh, for, di for the appointment of directors. And if you say that these institutions should articulate community, um, then uh, perhaps they shouldn't be, uh, you know, produce stagings. Um, uh, you know, building a community is building relationships within the team based on different uh, mechanisms of production and mechanism of, mechanisms of democracy, of democratization. Um, and if we don't provide for a new opportunity, for a new model of functioning of the institution, then we are going just to duplicate uh, the model that is uh, insufficient and incapable just now. Well, I wouldn't say it's incapable. Uh, we've got uh, 50,000 seats um, uh, in the houses. We've got a number of people uh, in the, in the, 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 as directors um, um, of these institutions uh, and uh, they are responsible, they, ha they are held um, um, liable for the program adopted in the, in, in the competition um, and um, of course the, the competition committees um, uh, and the boards um, um, well are provided for in, in, in the law and they've got representatives of, uh, of the teams, of the organizers, of the funding uh, institutions, observers also ca can take part in, um, the, the, in, in, in the sittings, you know, local, local um, um, you know, people of importance, um, the knowledgeable people and then representatives of the theatre community as well. And all this, in, in, in my opinion, well perhaps some fails to work and, 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 and well, uh, it does work at times, but it doesn't at others. Uh, so um, uh, perhaps uh, the institutions you are talking about, it, uh, you know, do not work in this democratic model, and there are different attempts to transform the structures, um, entrepreneurial structures, creative structures in theatres. The question is whether the artistic uh, outcome. Uh, you know, is in any way related in the in, in the way we produce stagings, um, um, whether you know these models are conducive to the final um, the, the, the effect. If you prove me that uh, there is a strong relationship, perhaps um, we need to change. But if you have no proof uh, that for an institution institution to be autonomous, to pursue its uh, artistic um, the, the, the program. Um, uh, you know, is kind of is incapable of doing this in the current model. Then, to me, it means it operates well. Again, we've got fifty thousand seats in the houses. Uh, well, it's it's not quite large. It's it's not massive, and uh, you know, the popularity of theatre is quite limited. Five million tickets sold. Um, but yeah, so it's um, I, I can't say these these are you know unique viewers. Uh, if uh, we can only you know count the, the tickets sold, so it's 17 percent of the, of, the, of the national population. So it's uh, on average, it's much higher than in any place in the world. So the average of participation of the audience uh, is quite uh, high, and it's uh, only about theatre I'm talking about. Uh, the data that we've got, uh, it, 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 it comes uh, not only from public theatres, from central statistical institutions, different sources. Uh, and mind you, at about 600 um, non-public institutions. Uh, yes, and they provide us with data and we count um, um, uh, them annually. So it's more than 5 million participants. Um, five million um, tickets sold, and uh, we know that there are more of them. And mind you, it, we will never get 50% of society attending theatres, attending stagings. And the institutions that uh, well are based, are located in cities, the public institutions, well, they will never. They will never operate in other places in the, you know, in, the, in the countryside. So why put them at risk you know, from this internal critique that you want to pursue? Why you know, um, you know, attacking them? They are never 
going to play the function that you want to impose on them. Again, it's worthwhile building uh, institutions, also new other institutions in new places. Again, yesterday we had a meeting with representative of uh, this West Pomerania theater offensive, a movement that uh, tries to map and unify independent uh, companies, independent circles, uh, putting uh, forward new proposals for, for amendment to the law, uh, as these circles seem to be quite neglected on the current legislation and um, uh, they only operate on the public benefit um, uh, provisions. So the question is how the changes to come can influence the out of institution map of organizations, of circles, of societies. So this is something we, th we uh, should think about uh, with a view to creating new institutions. To, uh, to creating institutions mm, that uh, will give work, give jobs to these teams, more stable than uh, project-based, uh, or kind of support or programs, uh, not oriented to the product, the final outcome or deliverable um, that we face with uh, this repertoire-based mm, traditional institutions. Well, it's something mm, mm, you know that can be devised, but again, it's you know, uh, uh, it's it's the roots. Uh, it's you know, it's upside upside uh, the upside um, the movement. Well, it's um, it's downside movement. Uh, I, I would say we are decision makers in Warsaw, and if an institution, a theatrical institution, to be established in Warsaw, that would be different from a di you know, from a theater with a fixed. Um, a team of actors, um, or production house, whatever you call it. Well, I have spent a lot of my private time for lobbying, for uh, you know, talking to people. And uh, quite recently, I learned that the easiest way to establish an institution like that, or perhaps not even an institution, just uh, you know, is to get funding through an existing public institution because under the current legislation uh, well the uh, the artistic freedom artistic activity freedom act provides that organizers is mm, liable for maintaining an institution but is not bound not required to fund and ngos so the difference in funding is drastic is huge even in warsaw where ngos are quite strong but total funding for NGOs in various profiles. It's a scale of the, of, of the smallest public theater in Warsaw. The total amount uh, transferred to NGOs per random in Warsaw. So if you have this queue of the need, of the needs, the existing institutions will be the first and the ministry is obliged to maintain them financially. Um, uh, usually, it's done by you know giving subsidies and you know establishing certain uh, general budgets, not task-based budgets. There are task-based budget budgets. Well, the split of budgets or the distribution uh, is decided by um, uh, city councils, and ministry um, is not the decision maker, the ultimate decision maker. So distribution be quite different. It's possible. Well, it's possible, but this is not the fact. So there is this you know, pressure from the root that has proved to be ineffective so far. Uh, and we have failed, and, uh, 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 as we ha don't have any you know, political power, uh, and we are not a partner in a political game. Uh, it's just a symbolic um, the, 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 the position that, uh, that we've got without any political strength or possibility to exert a political influence. So uh, we have mm, failed compared to Krzysztof Warlikowski, uh, for for instance. But then the, the the choir of women had you know some uh, commercial success as well. So it's a comparable. But um, um, the women choir, the, 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 you know, is not um, after any public funding. Uh, and uh, you know we are thinking about um, you know getting 
uh, or applying for public funds. But it's, it's, it, it, it's not about you know, the system, it's about the imagination of public authorities. Well, I'm talking about reality here. Uh, this is what we've got, actually. And just one more rule uh, the, 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 in the law. You said about um, something about uh, autonomy of uh, the cultural institutions. Uh, well, in the perspective of three to five seasons or years, uh, the, ter the term of office for a director, uh, we know a couple of people in these positions who be uh, two years before the expiry of uh, the term of office start thinking about how to make sure they are appointed again. Well, this postulate was raised by the community, by the, by the theatre circle. Uh, so the autonomy, it's a slogan rather than a fact. And uh, it's unavoidable, I think. Uh, the space of theatre, uh, or the space of theatre institution, uh, is a space of, you know, those political tensions, and it's embedded in it. And it's only, we, can, we can't avoid it. And um, you know, whether uh, you know, theatre you know, uh, assumes or accepts that as a topic um, uh, to pronounce um, um, it in favour or against the, uh, the power, well, it, it doesn't matter. I'm not thinking about you know, imaginations of um, uh, the theatre as a kind of naive, innocent space of dialogue. Uh, well, don't uh, don't argue with me like that. I mean, it's, it's too convenient for you. You are projecting um, your ideas to what I have said before. Well, in fact, theatre that um, you know makes a theme of its political position. Uh, the, 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 well, it's the only thing that we can achieve. Uh, uh, but why don't we just, um, you know, take another route for this discussion? As Agata said, um, well, the, the fetish of the low class or the, the folk class as a potential audience, um, the, the, a companion and ally of, uh, of our thinking about how theatre uh, could or should look like. It's an, it's utopia, uh, in my opinion. The class, the folk class, strictly speaking and simply speaking, the change that we are witnessing uh, just now is uh, accepted by that class, um, honestly accepted and, uh, and finds <coughs> understanding in the folk class, in the low class. In my opinion, for class, you know, we, we can't recover these audiences. But is, is, is it your fantasies or is, is it your knowledge? Um, um, there are some sociological research um, um, led by Levitsky and, um, and Gdula and Sadura. Uh, and, um, you know, very surprising findings uh, about um, nation nationalism, uh, conservatism, um, ca um, provincial Catholicism of the folk class. Uh, you know, very surprising findings. And uh, just let, uh, you know, let me remind you, uh, you know, uh, Theatre uh, Ateneum, um, you know, before the war and the avant-garde projects, uh, you know, there's a great theatre tradition behind it. We are going to um, uh, publish a book, a Performance of Remembrance, um, uh, in, in our institute, um, based on these sources. It seems to be, um, you know, very interesting and with great achievements. So I protest, uh, and uh, uh, don't let's use, um, you know, a notion that reformed institutions um, uh, should um, uh, demonstrate, um, you know, a proper artistic level, because uh, these categories are not quite uh, interesting to, to us. These are categories with some historical. Um, the burden uh, and uh, originating from some aesthetic rigid framework 
and um, the, you know to um, go beyond this framework is uh, is key now. As to the folk class and the potential participation in culture, well, this narrative hasn't been heard or emphasized yet. Uh, the other narrative uh, or story is one that emphasizes the relationship or the connection um, of the liberal tradition with um, the experiment in art or the experimental movement in art, which is quite close to me. And um, it's, it, it may be demonstrated quite um, well that there is historic relationship between the two. And I know that uh, the definitions or the, the nomenclature, the liberal and neoliberal, um, uh, you know, mm, will move our discussion to, you know, to some strange uh, domains at, at variance from what we actually announced at the beginning. But let's, let, let's be open. Uh, you know, I've got some resistance in, in, in me against that. Uh, these are fantasies about the four class. Uh, Maciej Dula and his research, um, you know, is not the good basis for this argument. Uh, sorry, but you say, you know, historic burden. Uh, theater and uh, institutions born in, in Poland in the late 19th um, um, century, uh, well, the city the citizens built the theaters because they needed, to, they needed them. And these institutions exist and they've got some guarantee for public funding, for subsidies. Uh, it's a guarantee uh, uh, and uh, they don't have to uh, fight for it. It's 50 percent, 70 percent level of the total funds. Um, well, there is, you know, a, a, a part that they need to uh, arrange um, for themselves. But still, uh, new institutions, um, um, uh, uh, you know, were established uh, before World War II, and uh, using this novel mechanism, uh, developed uh, uh, artistic novelties, um, and um, um, we are not interested as audience in the internal organization of theatre. We are interested in artistic experience in um, um, in. Um, in turn, in, inside emotions, uh, aesthetic emotions, and uh, and and so on. So it's a matter, at the end of the day, of what we can propose to people, and what we can propose, in my opinion, uh, is that the community of theatre people uh, perceives and acknowledges the value in in that diversity is uh, key to what needs to happen and that we need to combine our efforts to, to, to join, you know, to undertake joint, joint efforts. But it's a quite obvious argument, uh, let's say. Uh, if uh, an X amount should go to a you know, you know, production house, then the question is, who is going to be deprived of this X amount, but it's not true, and we, we need to prove it to local governments. Of course, local governments, uh, you know, are in a position to distribute their budgets differently, and they don't need to grab money from someone else. But there is a language, there's a narrative uh, be, behind uh, which theatres are valuable and which are not, and it's an anecdote I've got. Uh, in Com Comuna Warszawa, uh, we're in, we are nominated to uh, uh, to Kultura um, uh, Channel on the Polish Television Prize, um, uh, and uh, one of the three nominees, and uh, the winner was um, a Polski Theatre in Wrocław. Just uh, let me mention that the first person to appear on the stage was the director uh, and that was a prize to the team to the company of actors and the first commentary it was that uh, the team was very satisfied 
because it was yet another proof that uh, it was only within an institutional theater that the company can create artistic theater, that it was the only model. So it was kind of leveraging uh, the institutional position to replicate of um, what was there in place. And it was the first moment when I thought uh, uh, about micro theater project just to reverse the situation. And it's uh, very difficult. And Dorota, as you say, and it's a frequent argument. Try, um, you know, try to convince, persuade. You've got contacts and so on. So go to the officials that you know. Um, yes, we do know them, and we go um, to them. We meet, um, uh, you know, at dinners. We drink with them and so on. I don't drink with them. So. <laughs> The Rosa. All right, we've been doing this for years to no effect, really. And uh, it's not a dream uh, that uh, uh, Warsaw establishes a, a, a new institution. Well, Warsaw has established a new institution recently. Poznan has uh, established one and so on. To me, uh, it's you know, beyond any possibility for the City Council of Warsaw to vote for the establishment of a new institution, cultural institution. So we are looking for new opportunities. We argue, we convince people, we persuade them, we spend a lot of time uh, that we could spend otherwise, and uh, to no effect. So it's not the right way, I think. And more than that, it's not an argument in favor of, of, of this institution, this kind of institution or this institutional situation or place like this is not or should not be the first argument for it should not be the ideological decision. It should be a decision about the change of uh, artistic practice resulting from the observation of how artistic practice has changed, of um, um, how many new artists have emerged who don't fit into institutional uh, framework. Of course, they um, may fit to the detriment of, the, of themselves. I mean, they take efforts to fit into the structures of um, uh, institutional theater. Um, you will see the staging of Wojtek um who spent a lot of time outside the, 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 the community, outside the institution, for various reasons. Last year he decided to uh, join the institution and, uh, and create two stagings. Uh, and uh, um, this gesture after the choir of women, uh, it's just yet another Mm, the examples of you know successful winners in various festivals, and in my opinion, Wojtek does not fit or fits in the institution um, with difficulty uh, and operates to large parts out of the institutions. Perhaps he doesn't need one. Well, he does, because in fact, in principle, any, any artist needs institutional support. Komuna Warszawa. <coughs> produced some five projects um, by Wojtek, but it's incapable, it is not in a position um, uh, to export these uh, productions uh, you know, abroad, for instance. We don't have the resources um, uh, to, to, to do this. And uh, when Wojtek enters the institution, an open one, um, they're very uh, conscious, aware of what's going on, uh, then he gets an international success. And it's not the only one. There is a community who operate, who work in a different way. It's a different um, um, type of theater. It's a different kind of dance or performance. And let me have another anecdote. I, I, I've been trying to enter the same institution myself. And uh, together with Wojtek, uh, we are going to pursue a new project in, 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 in Nowy Theater. And uh, the expectation from the theatre is that they work with uh, their team. 
us, they are employed full time and simply can't afford, um, uh, you know, um, having um, the actors inactive. So it's not the first thought Wojtek would have on his mind, uh, you know, working with um, uh, professional actors um, in, in theatre. So in my opinion, it's a kind of, it's a practical reflection, a practical thought based on experience. Uh, and we've got, you know, very interesting artists that don't fit. Uh, and it's worthwhile that uh, they don't fit. And perhaps they need uh, a new institution, yes, but until this day, none of the officials, none of the old authorities we have discussed um, uh, these issues with, never understood uh, our arguments, uh, our post po postulates, and uh, each time they refer to, you know, the, the scope of funding. Um, well, to six public theatres in Warsaw, for example. Well, it's, a, it's a very good example uh, that, she, that, that she gave. It's not only about Wojtek Zimilski, as five years of our working on the festival has shown, uh, and what's uh, quite important in the, in the programme of the festival is that the form of work uh, is of major importance for the, uh, for the outcome and uh, if the audience comes to, to, to a theatre, to, to, to a venue of a cultural institutions, um, you know, for the, for the sake of meeting with um, um, you know, artistic practice, in my opinion, uh, I hope we have succeeded in showing this, the rules and forms of working and producing um, the, the works is, um, well, is key to the outcome. Um, uh, Globscott and um, Shishi is quote, uh, and their experience shows that quite clearly their production were um, only successful because of independent um, production houses. And the effect is uh, kind of visible, quite clearly seen in the forms, the form of working. Uh, translate into the relationship with the audience between the per performance uh, and um, 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 and the audience be between the uh, choreography and viewers and uh, from five years of curating work uh, over the program uh, we see that many Polish artists could successfully pursue such projects similar projects and uh, similar to uh, Shishi Pop and, um, and Globe Squad um, uh, well, they could visit international festivals, uh, but it's not happening because they are kind of sucked in uh, by repertoire-based theatres, uh, and this influences, affects uh, the um, artistic practice. And um, within a while, they will be, they will be sucked, or they will be uh, treated uh, like um, you know debuts um, the, after five years of uh, of work without any chances um, uh, for serious productions and so on. Um, uh, Veronika Monawa couldn't uh, produce anything in Komuna Warszawa because she doesn't have you know resources to maintain the team in, um, the, the, for which she feels responsible. So the methods and forms of work. Uh, are hugely important and uh, you said uh, well one of the results or the consequences is that certain productions will not appear at all well uh, yesterday I spoke um, with, uh, about a staging about choreography and performance for five um, the, the dancers um, just show me a director who could attend, uh, you know, rehearsals and let her, uh, you know, stage this performance in his or her institution, public institution. Um, uh, and uh, there is Marta, there is, uh, the, the, there are a number of people among artists um, whose work will never be published or staged. Uh, but, well, yes, it's true, but it doesn't mean that uh, you know this uh, opinion about institution, institutions means we should deprive them of public funding, for instance. 
um, well, we need determination in searching for new ways to create new institutions. It is possible and it happens in Krakow, in Poznan, uh, in Lublin, where um, uh, we've got kind of um, umbrella um, the institutions that, that uh, kind of nurtures um, uh, independent startups in, in theatres. Yes, but uh, Lublin theatres and the models um, of, of, of performances of stages in the centre of culture um, uh, is quite to quite close to repertoire based um, 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 theatre, kind of very near to commercial theatre, I would say. And then uh, performative arts um, um, are not going to be continued in these institutions, in, in this institution. So it's a kind of uh, another sign of the change that has happened. Uh, another uh, example comes from um, uh, Poznan. Um, the, the, the working stage, working uh, the scene, um, uh, which has offered um, uh, two um, um, artistic residences per year with a budget of 10,000 um, Polish zloty per year. So uh, it's negligible. Anyone who would like to join this, this discussion, please. If you could just uh, introduce yourself, please, first. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry about my Polish. Uh, and I'm speaking like a naive um, um, American from, um, you know, from a poor country, America, a baby. But the basic question uh, is where we are today, where we are specifically. We are here in the House of Culture, in, in, in the Institution of Culture. Specifically, we are in Lublin. We are, you know, in a provincial city in Poland. Why are we here together? Because there's a festival going on, a huge, prestigious, international festival, long established in Lublin, a provincial city in Lublin, in the center of culture. We are prof professor of uh, the Academy of Dramatic Art in Warsaw, yes? For any student, how much does it cost to study at your academy? Well, I, I can't give you a specific amount. The students don't pay, and that's democracy. In the United States, it's a scandalous uh, situation. At um, Harvard University, they withdrew um, a, a, a well-known program for theater because every student would need to have $150,000 at his hand, at, the, at her hand, to study uh, at that department. And when I speak to other Americans about the system, educational system for, uh, you know, the, the, for dramatic art, they simply don't believe uh, for a free of charge um, the, 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 you know, academic cause. It's the true democracy command. In the US, there's no system of the houses of culture or the centers of culture like this one. This is democracy, democracy. and if, we, if you are talking about you know, theatres for folk class, this is the houses of culture, the centres of culture are for folk class really, coming from France, com coming from the Western Europe. And uh, Dorota Buchwald. Uh, <coughs> A great almanac for of, 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 of the Polish theatre. It's a miracle. Uh, we have nothing comparable um, in the United States. We have we don't have any institute of theatre in in the United States. But then, thanks to the almanacs, I know that at least 300 festivals 
are held in, in are organized in Poland. It just it, it, you know on the on 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 the cover page. I know it, it's even more, four hundred per year. Poland. Poland's population equals you know California. It's it's it's, it's just the same. The, the state of California, the richest state in the United States, have ever had, you know, 300 festivals in a year? It's unimaginable. It's unimaginable, unbelievable, 300 festivals in a single state. Perhaps they have two. That's democracy. And those festivals are organized across Poland, and this, you know, this bad repertoire-based company. Our actors in, uh, in the school uh, dramatic art in Philadelphia, when Shimon Wrublewski from Adam Mickiewicz Institute uh, gave a lecture ab about professional actors in repertoire-based theaters in Poland, our students were surprised. Was it possible you know, that an actor lives in a system like this? Uh, he has his, his health insurance, has his you know, pension scheme guaranteed, you know, and, 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 and they can have children? You know, you know, it's democracy. And it's possible for Polish students to become actors without paying for academies. And if there is a problem with uh, the content, the program of the Polish theatre. It's not that Paul, that, that people in 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 Kielce, in in in, uh, in Krakow, in Bielskobiała, have a repertoire theatre in any place. It's because public intervention. I don't know the statistics. I've heard one percent. Of the, the, of the central budget for culture in Poland. In, in the US, for theater, it's just one thousandth percent for raw arts, one thousandth percent. And the last thing, the system of uh, theaters for children Come on, people. In this group, how many of you have seen, have watched um, you know, the, the, a, a theatrical performance for children at your school when you were pupils? Professional theater for children. How many of you? Everyone? Perhaps in the United States there are three cities that have such theaters for children, only three. And most of our students, I mean the most, um, the, 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 you know, the highest, the top five, uh, you know, universities in the United States never saw a theater for children in their school life. And uh, every year, every pupil, can watch you know, a professional staging made specifically for children in Poland. That's democracy, come on. Polish theatre, structurally, is a very good condition. And uh, how do you perform with this excellent system? Uh, for public, um, um, you know, for audiences across Poland, uh, Gajinica, um uh, only exists because of uh, you know the House of Culture, uh, the kind of local provincial ones. Many other examples. Well, it's a uh, you know it's it's worthwhile you know to note in in another example. You know, in um, in our academy, you need to pay for one one hundred and fifty thousand for a study at the academy, and uh, it's uh, free of charge. This one, it's owing to the public funding, 
uh, this is free of charge. It's better for people. It's uh, democracy. It's true democracy, I think. Any other question? Nazywam się Mary Christine. Jestem z Wiednia, z Instytucji Sztuk Performatywnych. Bardzo się cieszę, że mogę wziąć udział w tym warsztacie. Trochę skontruję to, co Pan powiedział. Oczywiście jest bardzo ważne, żeby przyszłać, kiedy już zaczyna się ta uprzywilejowana pozycja. To jest coś, o czym właśnie w tej chwili piszę. Oczywiście ma Pan rację, że zaczyna kształcenia aktorów. Natomiast wydaje mi się, że zamiast wskazywać, kto ma gorzej, myślę, że wskazywanie dobrych praktyk i jednoczenie środowiska przyniesie lepsze efekty. we wschodnich Niemczech. Właśnie takie ruchy studenckie były, przyniosły najbardziej wymierne efekty. W takich miejscach, gdzie ludzie mogli się spotkać i zintegrować się, spotkanie i dialog były możliwe. I z, z, z czasem oczywiście te środowiska, te kompanie przeszły z pozycji czysto eksperymentalnych czy czysto artystycznych na pozycje polityczne. Natomiast scena niezależna cały czas istnieje i oczywiście jest niedofinansowana, ale cały czas produkuje znakomite, znakomite dzieła i jest promowana. Nie mówię, że to jest, to jest najlepsze rozwiązanie, ale 30% środków publicznych przeznaczonych na literatury niezależne mogłoby przynieść naprawdę dobre rezultaty. Może to jest ten próg, od którego warto zacząć. So with, uh, with all due respect, Alan, uh, I, I disagree with you. As, as someone who lives in, you know, in, in the Polish and American uh, the, the reality, it's unfair to compare um, uh, you know, different histories, different contexts. As a Pole, I, I, I simply disagree. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't accept the current situation because um, the, of the, you know, of the free um, the, the, the studies at the academy or, or better public funding than in the United States. We can compare, we can make comparisons uh, with the US. You need to pay for education, uh, but you have, uh, you know, um, greater freedom in, in, in thinking. You don't have uh, the ri rigid structures uh, in universities and, 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 and arts academies. Uh, so it's a uh, it's a good place and it's a good moment for us to think on how to change what we've got. But well, I, I refuse my consent. I, I disagree with that. Uh, well, I don't want to to have my freedom taken from me for the sake of of of, of, of the funding for for this good situation, as you as 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 you said, you know something that we uh, have benefited for a long time and if we want to keep it we need to sim simply be silent and, and comply. And uh, back to what Dorota said, you can be this you know, kind of positivist and you, your approach is positivist I think, that's 17% you know the numbers and statistics, but 17% uh, of the audience versus total population. Is it good or bad? Um, uh, have we succeeded or, or have we failed? Um, uh, well, um, uh, even if um, uh, these people, you know, come to theatre, 
perhaps they don't live with what they have seen or viewed. They don't live with the stagings. Perhaps this gives you, um, but well, mind you, it, it's 99% of the, of, the, of the capacity of, uh, you know, of the theatres, of the houses, really. And uh, you know the audience um, in you know in in theaters of different types uh, uh, is um, um, over ninety percent, and and this is you know this is seats that we count, so a um, lot of viewers. Yeah, but what what do they retain you know after they go out from the theater? So why we need a reform of the institution itself with kind of less hierarchy? less structure it's not only about theater it's about uh, education uh, it's you know kind of central decision making a, a, a big structure that you can't touch really and and and, and, and even the, the way you, you you prepare your ma thesis it's not about creativity and uh, it, 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 it's about you know the thesis it's about the approvals um, uh, and uh, you know for you to commence with writing, so it's not a freedom of thought. The hierarchy is still there, and I think that in, in theatre, the hierarchy is quite strong, and it doesn't um, allow us to open up, to kind of to to, to relax this um, this structure. So perhaps it's the highest time we thought, or or started thinking, about how to raise this level of um, seventeen percent of the of the audience versus total society or uh, you know deepen their reflection uh, after they see a staging and uh, let me perhaps join what Joanna has said uh, personally I don't think that uh, uh, it's impossible to reach the 50 percent level uh, you know of, of the population to go to theatres uh, just like not everyone plays computer games or, or soap operas on the TV. Uh, it's impossible, but perhaps there may be some things that we do in theatre uh, that discourage people or discourage part of the audience that perhaps could come to theatres, to the houses. Uh, that perhaps there may be some people uh, who think there's, there is something wrong uh, or something is lacking in theatre and what this could be and uh, I think we should be thinking about this. And just referring to, to, to the statistics and the figures, well it, 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 it may uh, uh, sound actually impressive uh, but uh, let me let me be incorrect and say that we need to look into what's behind these figures. How many festivals are there like this one out of the 300 ones per year? My experience uh, from um, from um, um, the Polish Contemporary Staging's um, um, Assessment Committee. Uh, I have uh, seen a lot of stagings across Poland um, back then. It was a painful experience for me. Um, that is the quality of production uh, and uh, you know how uh, much it costs to produce these stagings. And uh, um, I wasn't, um, you know, um, I, I wouldn't be surprised that you know people who don't go to theatre give this argument. The quality is the main factor um, for the, for for these people. Uh, I often go to um, theatres with um, my daughter, and I often happen to simply go out during um, a play because we simply uh, see that. Uh, you know the quality uh, well does not provide for any education any aesthetic any theatrical ins education uh, for my daughter to become um, a, a conscious and aware viewer
tak bardzo szybko, żeby odpowiedzieć na pytanie, czy wszyscy, czy wszyscy pyta, mogą chodzić do, do teatru. 50 tysięcy miejsc za, w każdym dniu, każde miejsce zajęte to jest około 80 milionów miejsc, a zatem ok, to nie jest możliwe, żeby cała populacja chodziła do teatru. Mniej więcej połowa się zmieści przy takim obłożeniu, obciążeniu. Maciej Pesta, uh, just let me add you know, another perspective. To, to, uh, I'm an actor myself. I have worked uh, in Bydgoszcz uh, Theatre. And my perspective is that uh, I think that the 17% is quite low. And uh, I disagree that we are unable to reach the 50%. Uh, it is absolutely possible to reach this level. And uh, from the perspective of non-viewers, well, I've been lucky, really, to well to to meet with a lot of people, you know, in, which in, in the era of the internet and you know web-based society, actually are interested in you know in social encounter, in in in, uh, in this kind of feeling direct contact with others. Um, you know, to, to to smell and sense the presence of uh, you know of art, and uh, you know many people told me simply um, you know they didn't know that theatre can be different than and you know a, a rigid um, the, the, the structure, you know a fourth wall uh, that, um, uh, that people are staring at, but something different. And uh, if you just listen to uh, uh, this opinion, well, it, it is possible. The question is whether we fulfill the role and what's our role, uh, what our role is um, today. So this is my general remark. So we, we need to believe in the audience. We need to believe in, in, in the viewer. Uh, we, just, we, we just need to remodel ourselves. Any other? Comments or questions? Good evening. I'm, uh, I'm a student at the um, Theatre Knowledge Department, and my question is uh, about this, you know, increasing the, 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 the increasing participation um, and you know raising those figures for uh, for the audiences. Uh, when when I come, uh, you know, to Lublin. I came to Lublin uh, with a group of students. We uh, took a cab, we took a ta taxi, and the driver was complaining about the presence about this festival, and uh, he was complaining uh, about you know uh, money spent on on theatre instead of you know of the pavement just next to his car, next to his house. So um, a, a change, a reform of um, and, uh, of theatre that could you know draw people who are not interested. In, uh, in, in in viewing plays, and there are di different options for them, available options, and uh, that don't draw, don't catch um, and, uh, these people. These people simply save on on, on, on tickets, and uh, it's, it's, it's kind of um, you know we want to uh, invite the the folk class to theatre, uh, whereas the folk class is not interested in in going to theatre. So. The, the, the kind of the willingness is important. Um, uh, the willingness to be part of a uh, conscious, active um, uh, the audience. Uh, well, just let me disagree with you that uh, it's just a, you know the unwillingness of the audience. Mind you, theatres are only located in bigger cities. Have a theatre, and my friends uh, simply are in. It's it's they are unable to experience theatre. And uh, it's it is only uh, in about school books, the textbooks that we are required to read uh, in.
among the people of Piazza, in, in, in the community. Because stagings and you know, plays, plays, perhaps this could encourage them to start discovering theatre, um, to uh, open up themselves for new, new experiences uh, in the artistic field. So, but mind you, you know, name, I can't hear, sorry, the, the, the guy needs a microphone. Well, I, under, I don't understand that you know, a naked actor, you know, could be controversial or should be controversial on the stage. Uh, or they are, you know, uh, naked men and women, um, you know, uh, uh, advertising, uh, the, you know, construction materials. So uh, I don't know why it's so important, you know, in theatre, and we simply don't pay attention to it in normal, in, in everyday life. And I think it's about you know our image of, um, uh, of theatre, kind of cons conservative image of theatre we've got in our heads. Um, you know, this high-level culture is uh, something they associate uh, theatre with. And, um, you know, of, the, 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 of course there are different forms uh, in which um, this um, controversy in manifest, is manifested in, in theatre. My question is, uh, perhaps we shouldn't be, you know, forcing people to uh, view plays like these. So when I, when I listen to, uh, to you, I think that we should invest a lot of money in, in theatre for children. Uh, then we wouldn't have any problem like the, uh, like you say we are. But it's uh, I, it's not that we should, you know, we should, uh, you know, pack folk uh, class in you know in the buses and you know and 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 get them to to, to, to theaters. But there are stagings uh, that are extremely cause controversial. Uh, that polarize, uh, you know, society. Um, uh, those are intended for people of, you know, specifically, um, um, of specific way of thinking, and uh, perhaps uh, the value should be for people to be able to think about the content of the staging. Um, uh, that it is it, it is sw swallowable, so to say, um, digestible. For, uh, for 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 everyone, and not only to those um, who um, have the you know social or, uh, or political views um, quite clearly established, so that they uh, can have some interaction with um, uh, theatre, you know, people from various um, communities, various circles. <coughs> but it, 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 it's not true. There, there are, you know, <laughs> theatres who have, you know, a different offer. Um, well, there, there are alternatives. Uh, but still, uh, I don't think there are too many people going to these theatres. <coughs> but well, I'm specifically talking about, you know, about plays, about stagings for people with specific worldviews. It's a negative phenomenon because, uh, you know, a play like this uh, will not trigger anything new in these people, uh, will not provide for any new context. And of course, um, uh, it won't provide for any new context in, you know, in people with, uh, you know, extremely different opinions. Mm. Perhaps one, one or two questions. Manju, I'm a layman in, in in terms of organization of theaters in in, the, in Poland you know, as institutions. I watch television more often than you don't know, than, than than you know drama plays, and uh, I'm thinking about um, you know the. I'm thinking about the sense of uh, you know TV drama, 
um, 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 Channel One on the Polish television, um, uh, it, you know, operates, um, you know, drama programs for years, um, mostly mon Monday evenings, uh, and the question is: Is it sensible to have a program like, like this? If we could have. Uh, uh, the, the soap opera for uh, this folk class who would most probably prefer to watch soap opera uh, in, 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 instead of the, of the drama of the, of the play on TV. So let me add, uh, let's make sure that they would prefer. Mind you, they are different kinds of kinds of people. They are not peasants. All of all, all of them. Let's have facts to, to to base our decisions and, and ways of thinking first. Thank you very much. And uh, I, I'm afraid we we have to uh, finish for the time being. For the time being, because I hope that we'll meet uh, after the plays um, in in the in the in the glass uh, house in. in the, in the festival um, club, uh, there are many issues that we haven't found any answer to yet. And as you can see, there are some flyers uh, with uh, an outline of these um, uh, topics from different perspectives, um, either um, um, you know, class-based um, artistic practices, um, economic contexts, also information about contemporary choreography, and uh, uh, these can be found downstairs as well. Thank you very much, and uh, see you soon at the play.